Okay, y'all. And thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Okay, all right, all right. If you like what you see, please do go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, what you don't want to do is ever be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time me and the T team are up in here getting it in with these good old tarot messages, do not forget to like this video, y'all. Okay. If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. All readings are $44.44 and they do have at least a 48-hour turnaround time. Okay, if you have a little tea, just a little tea you want to go ahead and share related to one of the videos, maybe something that went down in your life or whatever, feel free to go ahead and hit me up at dftbox at gmail.com. I do read all the messages. Sometimes it takes me a while to get back to y'all, but I will get back to y'all. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Um, listen, this is what I got. <coughs> Somebody out there, y'all, y'all, you follow me because this is scandalous now, Because this, but this is what I pulled before we get started. Somebody is a masculine, <clears throat> he's deflecting, okay? There's a lot of deflecting. Somebody is deflecting. Um... <coughs> It's as though <clears throat> he is using a sham of a marriage or girlfriend just so that he won't have to be with you. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm dead ass. Somebody is using someone else to keep them. It, it's as though we're dealing with a man that does not, maybe he doesn't like intimacy, okay? And he's like using a karmic. And like saying he's in a deeper relationship than he's really in. Because he's really, this this man is really in love with you. But it's like he want to still be able to maybe date other women. Or somebody is trying to preserve their freedom. Okay. We got very high Aquarius energy. Um, I don't know. We, you know, we're going to pull from the cards and see. But I'm getting Aquarius, a Scorpio energy. Um, that would do something like that. Okay. Um, it's it's kind of like. You know, I got to be there for my baby mama. So that's why I'm your man, but I'm not your, your husband. Okay. It's like that type of, that type of tea. Somebody is using some other energy to deflect so that they don't have to pay you your dowry. Okay. They don't have to pay you with your work. Amen. Okay. Um, so that's where we're at. I don't know. Listen, it's a lot of tricks out here, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I, this ain't one I, I don't think I've come in contact with, but it sure came in contact with me today in these cards. So we're about to start up on the backstory and figure out just what the hell going on here. Somebody is, is pulling a fast one. Um, you might not realize it, but this person, whoever this third party is, it ain't all that with that third party. They just trying to make it seem that way so that you'll stick around, okay? They want you to stick around, but they don't want to have to give you the ring. They don't want to have to give you everything. So they're making it seem as though, oh, you know, okay, oh, I'm also hearing this person. It could be their mother. They could be saying, well, you know, mama's sick. You know, I have to be there for mama. Nonetheless, somebody is using another feminine to make it seem like they're not available to give you everything that you deserve. Okay. That's just, that's just that on that. Okay. Again, secrets. Exactly. Um, this is a masculine that is, is, is having secrets. The secret is the truth. Y'all see this secret. The secret is the truth about his relationship with this feminine that he is using as a shield. He's using her as a form of manipulation. Okay. So that it seems like he's just not, I'm not, I, I wish I could. No, this man is lying. He can. Okay. Moving on, letting go, loving you. Again, this man wants to remain free and he wants you to be the duck in the situation. This man is just trying to protect his freedom. There is no reason why he can't be with you and give you what you want to do other than that he's trying to remain free. Okay? Y'all see we literally came out the deck with with the, with just what I listed. I told y'all it came out before I started uh, the reading and it's coming right back out again, y'all. This is some weird stuff, but... You know, unfortunately, you had these comic masculines play, try to play high-level games of manipulation. Okay, closing this cycle. Child, don't not, listen. Don't let this man have, okay, so we just got, we, okay. We just got, we just got the tea. Don't let this man, this man is playing a lot of emotional games. 
with you, okay? And, and you learning about these emotional games, feminine, or hearing about these emotional games, or just connecting the dots, do not let this man take you to a place where you end up at the police station. Like, dead ass, because not even to be funny, you know, emotions can run wild, and people end up going way further than they ever planned to go to make a statement about the respect that they want when they realize somebody has not been giving it to them and it can it can really go badly and consider this something to think about like this can get bad because and i'm hearing it like this somebody is a queen of swords energy this may be a dark feminine energy and, and you 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 you're not going to take it well when you realize that someone has come against your third eye basically you know they've they've tried to play you and your vision for a fool okay you may have perceived this at some point but this person we're dealing with a pretty high level of manipulative energy and you have to know that because this is a strange reading and a strange game to be playing this is somebody that is really pretty high level with their um karmic demonic foolery so you really want to keep yourself aware <laughs> Stay self-aware because you don't want to let this take you somewhere that's just like not good. And it can. Okay, as you realize what's going on, some of y'all are going to be ready to lose your shit. Don't, don't take it there. Getting a reading. Again, consider this reading your word. Like, don't. Make sure you don't allow this to really take you there. Make sure you stay in your divine energy, whether that's dark divine or divine feminine energy. Stay in that space because you're going to be really upset when you realize how fucking stupid, okay, this man has been trying to play you for and also play this other woman for. But the energy that I get from this karmic is that she knows full well that she's basically just a uh, smokescreen. For this man's game she doesn't care this man is it, it, she's like getting money from him or she's getting help with her kids or their their relationship is more like a bargain or an agreement it's not anything romantic this man's actual i'm telling you this man's actual romantic connection is indeed to you he don't want to pay the piper he doesn't want to be responsible he doesn't want to be responsible for you so he's playing these games karmic ties i told you this is a karmic energy He's playing these games, okay? This man has always kept tabs on you. He's always wanted to know where you were, GPS energy. He's always wanted to know how your life was going. But this man does not want to come out of this kind of Aquarius-esque energy where he wants to be free to basically, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing womanizer, okay? Um, I need you to catch something. This man, if it just in a, to make a long story really, really short, this is really spell work here, guys, okay? This is really spell work. This man may not even himself realize that this is what this is. This is what he's all about. But this is spell work. This is demonic. This is not cute. This man has weaved an illusion of some kind of connection. Like I said, it could be, it could even be a parent. His parent may be a mother, I mean. He, mother could be older. Mother could really be a little sickly, but she don't need him for shit. She, she, okay. Somebody is even going as far as, Hey, I live with my mom and she's sick, baby. He don't live there. It's that type of energy. He's creating a, a, a an illusion of unavailability. Mm, thank you, spirit. This man is creating the illusion of unavailability so that he does not have to emotionally invest at the highest so he doesn't have to emotionally and financially invest at the highest level that is what he's attempting to avoid wow this is this is a real this is this is the manipulation at us at a dumb level y'all married this man may actually be pretending to be married um, even if he is married, he's like in separation or they're, they're basically just roommates. He's not telling you that because he knows if he tells you that he'll never be able to tell you no again. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is a prima donna, baby. You are a prima donna feminine. I think it's made more of a dark feminine energy. 
That's what I'm getting. You are a prima donna. You are a prima donna. And then you being a prima donna. Y'all. <coughs> and you being a prima donna. He knows. I literally just saw a diamond. Like I just saw a diamond just go by my eye like that. Not like these little uh Macy's specials I got on for twenty two forty <laughs> for twenty two forty five. You understand me? These little what they call them, they buy the little people. I think they call charter club or something. They do the little costume jury. Shout out to them. They probably they probably somewhere wondering right now. Like I wonder where I wonder where Moon wore our little 2245 to uh, the little special over there to the sale rack. Shout out to Macy's. Okay. Shout out to y'all, wherever y'all at out there in the world. I just saw a diamond, a real diamond, just go past my mind's eye. This man feels, I'm hearing Diamonds and Pearls by Prince. Don't you know I want Diamonds and Pearls? Don't you know I could give you the word? I can't wait till I get my voice back, y'all. I'm, I'm using my inhaler. I'm being really good to get over this cold. I'm actually losing, using my inhaler, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. Because I be forgetting to use it. <coughs> That's why I'm still coughing. <coughs> so, <clears throat> diamonds and pearls, y'all. Diamonds and pearls. This man feels like I'm seeing like a diamond necklace is going around somebody's neck. This man feels like you, you're a prima donna. He's decided from a distance. He's, he decided long back. Somebody has really underestimated. Y'all, I'm getting so much information. That's why I keep stopping. This karmic, this karmic, he's prophetic. Because I'm, I'm seeing the man's eye. He keeps seeing you from really, really far away. That really tells me he's prophetic. This man has assessed you. From way back as being a prima donna. Way back, I mean, in distance. He he know he knows this about you. He's like, yo, she's a prima donna. She gonna expect the best she gonna want. If she find out I got some money, she gonna want it. If she find out I got a car, she gonna she gonna want me to take her here, take her there. This man has always lied to you about his romantic situation, how much money he has. And how much free time uh, he has. Because he sees you like you'll take it all. He's like, yo, she'll take everything. I will belong to her. Let me tell you why this is a problem. You belonging, this man belonging to you is not a problem. Because you're a prima donna. And you, you, you actually are a prima donna feminine. But that's not what the problem is. The problem is that this man knows that if you tried to get everything that he had to give, he would, he would like give it to you. This man does not want to. He sees you as a potential weakness for him emotionally and financially. So he finds ways to keep you at a distance because he's afraid he will give you everything that you're asking for. This man doesn't. He's like, if I let her in, if I open my heart up to her. She's going to be riding me like a horse. I'm going to be, you know, giving her resources. She's never going to take no for an answer. She's got princess energy. She's spoiled. Bro. And there's some dark feminine energy here. It's if somebody you're very demanding. It's like if you don't get what you want. He knows it will be hell to pay. He knows it. So he thinks he's he's got this prophetic energy. He thinks he's smart. Okay, karmic ties. Okay, this is really getting it now. Thank you, spirit. This man has tried to, he's using knot magic. Okay, knots as in knots, like when you tie a knot. He's using knot magic, but he's using it energetically. This man is basically using binding spells. Um, he's trying to bind you with his words, with his action, and with deception. He's trying to bind you. You can't ask for all of his money. You don't have a clue how much money he has. Okay? You cannot demand that he spend his Saturdays with you because you think he got to be with mama on Saturdays or you think he got to deal with his baby mama on Saturdays. Okay? 
you can't demand that he's with you every evening because he got you thinking that he works a schedule that is like flex. Oh, sometimes I work nights, sometimes I work days. A lot of times this man is actually off work altogether. And he's telling you, I pulled a 12 hour shift. That's the type of energy we have here. If he is married, his marriage is, he doesn't even sleep there most of the time. He's all out in the street. The marriage is only still there on paper. They might have already filed the divorce motion. He would never tell you this. Some of y'all, if you just go look up public record, <coughs> you're going to see this man been trying to get out of this marriage for the last 18 months. He's not telling you that. <clears throat> this man feels like, not only does he kind of think you're like prima donna psycho, like you would be demanding. I literally just saw a couple at a nice restaurant. It's a white linen cloth. And the woman just knocked over the teapot. It's a pitcher of milk or something. She's Okay. He thinks you're a brat and a prima donna. It's giving me very much rich bitch energy. Like, you don't want to pay for me to get extra lobster? I knocked this whole fucking table on the floor. He, it's like he's painting you as this. He's right about you, though. I'm trying to tell you, whoever you are. He is right about you. You are very demanding. And he. this is the type of vision he has of you. you you'd be prima donna, you know, knock the picture on the floor. I don't want this ring. Take this ring back. So he thinks he is binding you by keeping you from ever really knowing the secret to the sauce. This is to preserve his freedom. This is to preserve his independence. He doesn't want you to get your hands on all of his time and all of his money because he believes that if you get a hold of all of his time and all of his money, you will literally find something for him to do for you every second and every dollar and every penny. And on top of that, he's not 100% sure he would have the emotional strength to tell you no. So the best way <coughs> that he feels to deal with this <clears throat> is to bind you, okay? This is a form of bullying, like, you know, spiritually speaking or energetically speaking, but he thinks that you'll bully him. So he feels like he's getting a drop on you by binding you up in this situation because he knows, he believes that you would be like a psycho on him. Like, I expect this. I need my car no pay. And not only that, he also has a problem with jealousy. And he thinks he may become a psycho as well. So this is a man that is trying to avoid the intensity of y'all. Y'all have a very intense connection. If he would get out the way and let the connection go, I'm literally seeing a locomotive. If he got out the way and let y'all connection ride, y'all would be, it would be like a train. I'm hearing the noise like, Rom, like it would, it would come through and it would blow. Like if y'all relationship was, was allowed to just flourish, y'all would actually be obsessed with one another. It would be a very big and deep emotional connection. It would be like an ocean, a bond. Okay, you may be earth sign energy because something makes this really heavy and grounded. Capricorn Virgo, uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus um, is a possibility. Okay, there's also heavy Aries energy between y'all. Okay, that's where a lot of this, it could be anywhere in y'all's charts. Fire sign energy, something is driving this thing. And he's trying to keep it for, it's like he's trying to create a, a, a dam so that the thing can't bust loose. Because he knows if he really let it go... It's, it's done. It's done. He doesn't even think he can overcome his own emotions, okay? Twin flame energy. This man is trying to stop this thing from basically taking over his life. So he has created a whole, some whole bullshit. Trying to keep you from seeing uh, that really this man, he really is kind of belongs to you. But he doesn't want to belong to anybody. Okay? He just don't. Okay? He doesn't. This man feels like if he lets you in, y'all gonna be in front of a judge get married before he get through talking good. He does not want that. <coughs> He's afraid of you. You don't realize this. This man is terrified of you. Quiet as it's kept. Okay? This man feels like he would have to drop every damn uh, quarter that he gets right into your pocketbook. Okay? And he's trying to keep himself shielded and covered. And he, th listen, his shield, his sword, his covering 
is another woman. I'm telling you. Y'all, it could be his daughter. It could be a daughter. It could be a daughter that his baby mama is with. 23-6. He don't even see this baby like this. But he telling you, man, baby girl been so sick. I apologize. I ain't, I ain't been able to return your calls, man. I've been letting she got this flu. I messed around and had it for six or seven days. This man is avoiding you to keep you from being basically the star in his life. Um, which is even what he wants you to be, just to be all the way real. But he he's preserving his freedom over above all else. This man wants to be free to come and go like he wants to. And the intensity of what y'all have, he know it would kill that. Okay, he, he would be sitting in the house watching you, you watching him. Privileged lady. What did I just say? This man knows damn well what your expectations are. This man knows that he would be expected to buy you pretty items, pretty things, even in the sexual arena. This man knows he would be expected to be very like generous with his sexual energy. I'm also seeing that he thinks you would want him to buy you pretty things um, sexually even. This man just looks at you and sees a lot of baubles. Sexually, he's like, she'll want me to buy certain oils. That's money. She'll want me to buy toys. She'll want me to buy lace panties. She's going to want me to buy uh, pretty little necklaces. She's going to want to get tattoos. She's going to want to get a couple tattoos. She's going to want to get um, hairstyles, new hairdo. She's going to want to get uh, red bottoms. She's going to want to get, um, you know, beautiful bed sets. She's going to want pretty mirror on the headset. Like, he just looking at you as like, this girl will cost me everything that I have. Even sexually, she's going to cost me. Next thing you know, I'm going to be lying, buying lingerie. I'm going to be buying pretty bras. I'm going to be buying... He just sees you as like, but I'm going to tell you something about that. The man that he is actually wants to treat you like that. That's what he's scared of. Because he's like, I don't want to fuck around and end up, you know, people been talking like, yo, Johan just spent all his money on April. <laughs> like, that's legit what he's afraid of. These are all his problems. It ain't got nothing to do with you. However, you do expect a certain amount of coddling. Okay, this is Empress Energy here on this Privileged Lady card. This is 1 plus 2 equals 3. This card is number 12. Empress Energy is very high. He knows what the expectation would be. And he believes that you would even have, you would expect to even show up around his friends looking a certain way. Okay? And I come, you want me to come out around your friends? What I'm going to wear? I can't wear this. Okay? He knows this man um, is most comfortable when he's with a woman that is, she's not very demanding. She doesn't want much. Maybe he pays the phone bill, the light bill sometime. And she's like, he's a good man. And this allows him to have lots of women at a karmic level. Because if you know, oh, I gave you $150 on a bill, that'll be enough. He knows that would mean nothing to you, okay? He's like, she's going to want all of me. She's going to say, you make enough money to get me. The truth is, he wants to give you his money, okay? But that's not something that he's comfortable with. This man wants to stay in a kind of player's energy, okay? He's not being real with himself and he's blaming you for it, okay? Wealthy man and privileged lady. He thinks that... You are going to also expect him to elevate himself um, and kind of, listen, you're going to expect him to actually be a whole man that spoils you and does all this shit that he just don't want to do. He want to deal with some ducks and some ravens and some vultures. Shout out to ravens. I like ravens, but y'all know where I'm going with this. He think he, you want him to be, he just want to be with these ducks and these ravens and these vultures and just sit there and throw them any old little bone scrap and they're going to take it. Because they're just a different class of feminine. That just that's it. He knows what you. We, I'm seeing charm bracelets. Y'all don't know all those the little sparkles and glitters that are passing in front of my eyes right now. This man know he gonna have to come through with the come through if he gonna talk to you. Okay, we see change. Okay, this man know he would have to change and stand in this energy with you. We got the three and we got the four here. This is the empress and the emperor. 
If we were in the tarot deck, okay? They coming in right next to each other. He know he would have to get on, get where you at. I got to make sure she have what she need. He willing to do anything to get around this. This man had made up a whole, he made up a whole situation. What I say? He's trying very hard to keep himself shielded so that you don't see this man got more than enough money to get you the things you want. He got more than enough free time to come lay up in your house all day. He got more than enough free energy to be out here buying you all types of little oils and baubles and, and sandals and, and, and uh, stuff to hang on your damn dashboard. He got everything that you need and more. He like, Lord, if I let her know, she'll quit me. If I don't give her everything that she want. Courthouse. What did I say? We coming through here with this courthouse energy, this marriage energy. This man is so afraid that you're going to basically put him in a situation where he has to marry you right off. And he has to be somebody you can depend on. This man does not want to do that. He knows it's going to be you expect him to work. Okay. This man believes you'll work him into the grave. Uh, just, just, he have to keep working to keep you happy. Okay. He'll have to be up under you all the time. He thinks you will keep him stressed and broke because you are Empress energy. You know what I'm hearing here? Occup occupation and bad health. You know what song comes to mind? Ooh, honey, you got me working day and night. Yeah. I remember what Michael was talking about. Scratch my shoulder. It's aching, make me feel all right. Okay, y'all remember what was going on. Michael was in a situation in that song where he was basically begging for sex because this woman was keeping him working, working, working day and night. He coming home sore and all of this. And then when he asked for loving, you know, she acting funny. That's what this man think. He think he'll just turn into your workhorse, keeping you pretty, keeping you in four, five, six hundred dollar perfumes and carrying on while he, you know, he's not really... Getting the submission that he wants. This man is afraid of you dominating him. Okay. And him being left out in the cold. in this orphan energy. That's what he's concerned about. I said that's what he's concerned about. And he's using this woman. <coughs> okay. This karmic energy in the background. Um, if she is a woman. A romantic energy. But regardless. He's playing a very manipulative karmic game. With you. I wish I could. But my twins got a cold. If you call talk to their mama, they be like, the twins in the backyard playing double dutch. What you talking about? Ain't got no cold. My kids ain't had a cold since 2022. Okay? But this is the type of shit he gonna use, pathway on the bottom of the deck, to create a pathway that makes it look like, see, just look, just look. You see? You see? I ain't, I ain't got the time. I would be with you. But this is all so this man can avoid marriage. This is also this man can avoid giving you what you desire. This is also this man can avoid losing resources and losing his freedom. Okay, you deserve love, girl. You deserve this love and affection that this man is not willing to give you. And there is somebody else out there that will give this to you while this man is sitting here pretending to be tied up with mama on Sundays. And, and he's not. He's not. I'm literally seeing this man laying on the couch with one foot hanging off, nodding on and off. And he'll tell you in a heartbeat, oh, I, good to, man, I wish I could, babe, but today is just not going to work. I mean, my baby mama is acting insane. I got to go out here and buy these boys these gym shoes. None of that's happening. None of that's happening. This is this man's way of keeping control of his energy, Okay. And keep in control of the, of the diet, the, the situation itself. It's a coward's way. But this man thinks he's, he thinks this is like extra manipulative. Okay. Like I said, he's also throwing out there that he's got long hours to work. But we know he don't. He, he don't have shit to do. Okay. This man will go on vacation. And that's when he tell you he working doubles. To avoid what? Hire for energy right on the bottom of the deck. He don't want to commit for real. Because if he commit for real, he going to have to let go of all them little hoochies that he playing with. He not going to be able to take his money and gamble with it. Because you going to say, I, I need something. He not going to be able to take his money and gamble and, and put himself in a hole and put himself in debt. Okay, he's not going to be able to take his money and go around here trying to drag race and shit on the weekends with a bunch of losers. He's not going to be able to do any of that. Okay, he's not going to be able to just buy himself another watch knowing damn well he don't wear the first one. He, can't, he might actually have to 
say, hey, I'm accountable for this woman. Okay, spirit, seek clarity. Tell us what else we need to know about this situation. Future facing, where it is headed. <coughs> because this man is playing games with himself. Okay. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups energy with the Two of Pentacles. Okay. This man really feels like keeping things in balance, walking himself into a situation where things are imbalanced, but you don't really know what's going on. He thinks it's going to be to his benefit. It's not. It's not. This is going to this is going to backfire for him particularly eventually. Okay? This situation will backfire. It will blow up on him. Um It's no way around it. Okay? He's not going to be able to get by with this. Um, this is a situation that is ultimately going to hurt him. Y'all saw the lover's car fall out. It's ultimately going to hurt him because this man does actually want intimacy with you more than he even realizes. Okay? Ten of Pentacles energy. This man wants these things. Okay? That is the message to you. So this is a man that wants everything that you want. But his sex drive and his ability to want to feel like he's free to get out here and do, that's that's what's ruining his life right about now okay five of pentacles energy this man's gonna get left out in the cold he's making a stupid foolish childish um decision to play these dumb little games he thinks he's leaving you out in the cold but what you have to understand feminine is that there's so much projection attached to this story if you haven't peeped it there's a lot of projection attached to this story okay a lot of it this man is projecting his bullshit off onto you in a major way. He's making himself feel like it's you that's tripping. It's not. It's him. He wants to do these things for you. Whether you're a prima donna or not, which you are, that is the energy that I get. The prima donna or not, this man want to be serving you like this. You're the love of his life. You are the apple of his eye. He's just not ready to come in out the street yet. He's not ready to come in from the bars. He's not ready to come in from the, the every weekend, me and the fellas getting together, kicking it. You know, we're, we're going out here, talking to guys. We're taking trips that are all about chasing tail. He's not ready to come in out of the cold really because that's a cold environment no intimacy no real relationship no lovers ten of pentacles energy but he's not ready to come in from that and so he's making it seem like you would force him in it ain't you it's him he need to bring his stupid ass in anyway okay there ain't nothing out there but some diseases and he gonna end up losing money anyway because there, there's gonna be karmic babies that come into play you out here making babies with people you barely know and all he's he's headed in that direction but he's he's mistaken the devil got him going thinking that this is freedom that's not freedom you just you that's a curse you're out here living a life of lust and gluttony and god is you know not in nothing he's doing but that's a conversation you know that's another conversation for another day five of pentacles and the devil y'all yeah yeah this man is gonna get stuck outside okay it's one thing when you want to get outside and you all excited time by then we back outside no he he's about to get stuck out there okay and that that's his fault okay because he refused to take you know to to give himself the opportunity to do more four cups energy he was a fool when god offered him a way to kind of start creating lovers ten of pentacles energy in his life even though that he he wants it himself He's addicted to this freedom. Church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building. Okay, and I'm just going to say one more time. Go on, hit that like button. Uh, church bells going to ring, 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 a ling, ding, 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 ding. When the judgment card comes through the room, y'all already know. Um, this has been a crossroads experience for this man, okay? It's been a crossroads for him, okay? He had the opportunity to get in Queen of Cups energy. The Divine Feminine was attempting to take care of this man by kind of going ahead and just ushering him into a different type of relationship because he would have even had to mature and evolve in the relationship with you, okay? He didn't see it that way. Um, and Divine Feminine really tried to kind of force this agenda into his life. Not force, but really make it clear, like put you right in his face. This is something you could do, Lovers Ten of Pentacles. He chose some nonsense, Okay. Uh, the divine feminine was coming to him in wisdom, you know, by giving him this opportunity to become more of a provider. King of Pentacles energy, okay, to become more of a provider. Okay, 
to be more of a romantic Romeo energy. Those energies actually are inside of this man to give. But he just is not ready to give them. He's not ready to be that King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups that you would require. Okay, Six of Cups, where he is the acting as the leader and being comfortable providing and gifting and doing. Um, he's just not ready to do that. Okay, even though this man is a fool in love, even though this man is that excited about you, he just is not ready to do it. It's stri strictly he's not ready. It's not even any more to it to say. And your love is something that would really enrich his life, Ace of Cups energy. But he's not ready, okay? He's not ready. He thinks that the nonsense is where it's at. So, you know, unfortunately, he's kind of created a negative um, situation for himself where he's just kind of making life heavier for himself. There's no other way to say it. Um... He's been asked to transition into a Ten of Cups. Strength card on the bottom of the deck. He knows if he gets into a Ten of Cups, he would have to, like, be more of a house cat. That's the way he sees it. Okay? He would be a house cat. Got to come in. Got to answer to somebody. This man wants to be a stray. Okay? He want to be a stray dog. Okay? He don't want to come in. <coughs> okay? And know that. He has, he, I got to be home at a certain time because that's time to dinner. My dinner bowl goes down on the floor. You know, he want to be a stray dog and he wants you to just leave a little kibble outside for him that he can come get when he feel like it. And in order to maintain that stray dog energy, he's pretending to be overly committed to work and other feminines in his life. And it's just a fucking joke. Okay. He's going to meet resistance to fulfillment in that life it's only a matter of time because he's about to face a reckoning for this it's silly he's being silly okay so for you everything's gonna be the same for you regardless just go ahead and keep your hopes up because this man ain't ready there's nothing you can do about that and and you're gonna be disgusted with him anyway once you really realize the depths that he's going to to try to keep the relationship without committing to the relationship he actually has put himself into a situation a make-believe situation that's just keeping him from giving you everything you want. Baby, he is lying. That man laying on the couch on Sundays, belching, watching the game. It ain't no reason he can't come out with you. It ain't no reason he can't send you a little extra, extra on the cash app. He ain't got no extra bills this month. He lying. His baby mama ain't raised the child support. He lying. He got money. What ultimately happens with this spirit, okay? Right quick. What is the end? What is the ending for this? Cause this man crazy. Okay, there will be justice. There will be karmic retribution. Oh, look at that two of cups. Hey, baby, I'm shot. Justice, two of cups, and the hierophant. This man gonna be with you. And you know why? Because the divine is gonna deal with him. That's justice. You see what his stupid ass is trying to do. And let me tell you something. You don't have to pay this man no more attention. You can walk off. You can stop talking to him. Because at this point, we see now divine intervention. This is something that God is going to have to do. Okay? In the meantime, keep living your life. Don't worry about him. Don't think about him. Go ahead on and do you. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. In the meantime, there's plenty of men out there that buy you pocketbooks and purses and, and, and pretty little oils and, and, and cherry flavored lip gloss. Anybody got time for him and his bullshit? If you have a like, if you like this divine paper, the tarot tea, damn it, he didn't made me upset. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Like, 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 like this video. Do not be afraid to hit the bell, okay? While you liking the video, hit the bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are over here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. And as always, y'all, I will what? Catch y'all in the next one.